Welcome to the Cabin Cruiser Boating Adventure. It's Monday the 19th of April 2021 and we're just currently moored up on the Ashby Canal just past Bridge 3. We're going to go all the way to the end of the Ashby Canal which will be the first time for at least nine months. We're going to turn left and we're going to go down the Coventry Canal as far as Hawkesbury Junction where we then take a left and we go on to the North Oxford Canal where we will probably moor up for tonight. So come and join us. The entrance to the Ashby Canal is very narrow as there was once a stop lock here. Canal companies guarded their water supplies very carefully and convention was that any new canal company wishing to connect must do so at a higher level. Unusually the Ashby opened in 1794 was six inches lower than the older Coventry Canal. 
The lock gates and the lock keeper's house were removed in the 1960s. This was after work had been undertaken along the Ashby to raise the banks where necessary. We now make a very sharp left hand turn. We are cruising past a bit of a landmark on the Coventry Canal. This is an eclectic mixture of old half sunken cabin cruisers and narrow boats and hidden in there somewhere is a working boatyard of which I've seen various different kinds of reports about the place. I wouldn't describe it is exactly a pretty sight more it is uh, somewhere where there are little bits and bobs of interest I understand that it gets its name Charity Dock because it's situated on land that is owned by the church commissioners and the boatyard was formed by a couple of brothers who um, ran it it's been around here for many, many years. Uh, they're known for their method of slowing down speeding boaters and it involves a half brick. I'm just glad that we're coming past this in the daytime.
Today we are using a combination of five different cameras, two camcorders, two action cameras and one DSLR camera for still shots. This is bridge 13, followed by another sharp left turn.
We are just coming up to Hawkesbury Junction, where the Oxford Canal meets the Coventry Canal near to Hawkesbury Village in the county of Warwickshire. We are passing on the western bank of the Coventry Canal, disused engine house, built in 1821. It originally housed the Newcomen steam engine, which was used to pump water from mines in the area to supply the canal. By 1913, the developing shafts of the Coventry Colliery had reached below the geographical reach of the pump engine. Named Lady Godiva, it was decommissioned in 1913 but left in place and eventually moved to the Dartmouth Museum in the 1960s as the Newcomen Memorial Engine. Junction, it's quite a sharp hairpin turn just to get around to the first lock. We are passing under the iconic wrought iron towpath bridge built in the Britannia Foundry Derby in 1837 which was owned by Andrew Handyside who built the railway bridge over the River Derwent in Darley Park that I visited on one of my lockdown walks which you can see in my video A River, A Mill and An Abbey I'll leave a link at the end of this video Having just passed the Greyhound Canal Side pub and the Canal and Riverside boater facilities, we're coming up to a stop lock on the Oxford Canal, which isolates the water levels of the two original canal companies, with the Oxford Canal being a little higher.
We might have been tempted to stay here for the night in the visitor moorings had it not been for the fact that a chap opposite who was obviously in training for the world's most prolonged and annoying sanding competition training which he clearly took seriously as he was still at it when we arrived back here the following day. We did pull in for an hour on the way back as we went in search of the nearest petrol station which was just over a mile away. Having crossed the Coventry Canal at the little footbridge by the engine house we went through a little estate past the boat inn and all the way up Black Horse Road. At the top we turned right, there was a handy co-op on the right hand side and then the petrol station was in front of us on the left hand side. So we go on further in search of that elusive, perfect mooring spot, quiet, isolated, with plenty of solar. Some 